God bless everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. No matter where you are watching me from, God is with you. Remember that distance is not a barrier. God can heal you right where you are. God can perform a miracle in your location. There is a miracle with your name attached with it. There is a blessing with your name attached to it. Some of you, all that you need is prayer. All that you need is a little faith. So I want to encourage you that these words that we release on a daily basis are words to jumpstart your faith. These are words to help you. These are words to help you navigate through this dark world. Remember, the world that we are living in is a dark place. So for you to survive, for you to overcome your enemy, you need the word. The Bible says it clear, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives up to death. Brothers and sisters, you can overcome the enemy because Jesus overcame the enemy. Whatever you are facing in life with, whatever uncertainty that has come and befallen your life, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, you have the power to overcome. The Bible says it clear that he has given us power and authority to trample over snakes and scorpions. And nothing will by means hurt you. I repeat, nothing will by means hurt you. Whatever scorpion, whatever serpent, whatever snake is surrounding you. I'm not talking about physical snakes. I'm speaking about these are spiritual entities that have surrounded you. Deception. Calamity. Brothers and sisters, even loss. Destruction. You can overcome it. Brothers and sisters, today's powerful word is know the time you are living in. It is important to watch and pray. Understand the times that you are living in. Because a lot of people have uh, gone and been destroyed because they don't understand the times. What does, what does the Bible say? The Bible says it clear that the sons of Issachar understood the times and knew what Israel ought to do. I pray for you tonight that you are able to understand your times, that you are able to know what to do, that you are not found wanting, that the enemy does not put you in a vicious cycle of disappointment, in a vicious cycle of delays. Some of you, you are in a cycle of delays. You are almost there, but never there. Everywhere, but nowhere. It is because the enemy has held you captive. Some of you have not yet understood the times we are living in. These are perilous times. These are urgent times. It requires urgent a reaction. Brothers and sisters, it is time that you stand up. It is time that you put on the whole armor of God. That you are able to stand the wiles of the enemy. That you are able to stand the things of the adversary. Put on the armor. Brothers and sisters, you see there's a scripture that says, teach us how to number our days. I love that scripture. Teach us how to number our days. Some of you, you need to number your days because your days are short. Your days are short. Number them. Even if it is 70 years, 100 years, those days are short. Number them. Be as wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Jesus told you, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Doves. You are being sent out into the world. You are, they have sent you out as sheep among wolves. They are wolves waiting for you to destroy you. To tear you up. The enemy is always waiting for an opportune time to destroy you. So know your timing. Don't allow the enemy to bring this destruction in your life when it's not your time.
The Bible says there is a time for everything. There is a time. That's the book of Ecclesiastes. I think the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. That talks about a time for everything. I want to read to you a scripture. That it will show you that even demons know their time. If demons know, can know their time, what about you? What about you, a child of God? This scripture is from the book of Matthew chapter 8, verse 28 to 29. Matthew chapter 8, verse 28 to 29. What does the Bible say? The Bible says, when he had come to the other side, to the country of Jenny Saints, there met him two demon-possessed men coming out of the tombs, exceedingly fierce, so that no one could pass that way. And suddenly they cried out, saying, What have we to do with you, Jesus you, son of God, have you come here to torment us before the time? Listen to what demons are saying. The Bible says Jesus met two demon-possessed men. These were two demons, heavy demons. Of course, I, the, man, the man had, if, if someone is possessed, there, there could be a legion of demons or number of demons. But the major demons... There were two of them that were in, in, in the men. And this was like a confirmation. These demons were confirming. They were moving together, the demon possessed men. They said they were coming out of the tombs. They were coming out of the tombs. What were they doing in the tombs? Exceedingly fierce. The men were exceedingly fierce. Not just fierce, exceedingly. So that no one could pass that way. These men, were and you, you could not just tame them. You could not just bring them down. The Bible says, and suddenly they cried out. It was a sudden cry saying, what have we to do with you, Jesus, you son of God? You see, demons even recognize that Jesus is the son of God. Demons could confess that Jesus is son of God. That is what the scripture says. They said it, that he is the son of God. And they said, they said, have you come here to torment us before the time? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Demons were able to know their times. They know that time is out. You see, the devil, the reason as to why the enemy is doing what he's doing to your life, because he knows his time is out. He knows it exactly. That his time is running out. Demons are able to understand the times and seasons they are living in. As a child of God, as a Christian, I urge you to take time to understand the times you are living in. To always watch and pray. To always be persistent in your prayers. Don't let things just befall you without knowing. You are a watchman. You are a watchwoman. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this word has encouraged you. I am coming to the end of this uh, powerful message. I'm running out of time, but I've not run out of good news. I hope to see you next time. Remember, I have live streams on a daily basis. Until next time, Shalom.